The social climate for women or ladies, just say, in the 50s and 60s was actually different than we are today, simply because not many ladies were involved in public activities. And as a result, uh, you didn't hear about them. And they were wonderful people, but they had to stay home and take care of the baby or what have you. So uh, that's, that's the main reason I think that Omaha Women's Town Hall was appealing. I got involved in, in Town Hall because one day Dick Walter called and said he was inviting several women to lunch and he had a proposal for us and would we all come, I think it was the Omaha Club that we went to that was downtown. I was in show business and in one sense the lecture business is show business too and uh, since ladies weren't being handled or weren't, there was no customer, I thought let's create one and we did. So we created Omaha Women's Town Hall and I'm not the only one. I had a group of four or five, six ladies that were just wonderful. He said we need somebody to head this up and everything. And I was very pregnant at the time. And he said, uh, and if uh, being pregnant isn't an excuse not to take the job. Our lady chairman was having a baby. And so I convinced Bennett Cerf to go up and see her the next morning. And so we went to the hospital the very first speaker was Bennett Cerf, and um, at the time he was there, I had just been to the beauty shop to get all dolled up for the town, first town hall meeting, and ended up in the hot, my water broke and ended up in the hospital having a baby. And he brought Bennett Cerf to the, to the hospital to see me. I'm sure she named the baby after the Bennett Cerf. He said, what's the name of the baby? And I said, well, his name is going to be Taryn, but I don't know what his middle name is. And he says, well, you've got to name him after me. So Taryn became Taryn Bennett. And um, that was probably the most exciting thing that happened. Omaha was talking about it all the time about Town Hall and that they were going on Wednesdays to Town Hall. So I was on the wait list for five years and then when they, I got the call, I was so excited that I could now start going to the uh, series. I heard about Town Hall from some of my friends in Omaha. I was earlier an, an associate for the Omaha Designer Showhouse with these ladies, and they talked about Town Hall quite a bit, and I asked them about it and what it was, and they said it was a speaker series and told me a little bit more about what they did. And so uh, I thought, well, uh, maybe I'd like to join and they said well we have a thousand people on the waiting list and I thought oh well that could be quite a wait <laughs> so I didn't get involved at that time but then uh, several years later some friends in Council Bluffs uh, mentioned it and said well let's get on the waiting list so we all did and sure enough eventually we did get in and that's when I got involved and, and joined it and uh, I've just thoroughly enjoyed it ever since. Omaha Town Hall has always been very successful. Uh, we had a waiting list of 700 people back then, and it took seven years to get on, to get a membership, is that what I recall. So uh, once you bought a membership, you didn't really sell it. You sold it to somebody else to go a particular time, but they were a very, very wonderful item to have. <laughs> the only thing I'd have is sometimes people would call me and want tickets, and I couldn't give them to them because we were sold out and then they'd get a the, the little teed off with me. Well. The impact I think Town Hall has made on our community is I think it's brought in a wonderful, affordable lecture series to Omaha. And four times a year, people get to come and hear four great speakers. And our tagline is to inspire, to inform, and to keep in touch with the world. And I think we do a really good job at that. The greatest impact, I think, has been that, that it gives people a chance to see these celebrities and these interesting people that can come into town and, and uh, talk on so many different subjects. These ladies were getting exposed to something that they didn't get at home or anyplace else. And that's what's so necessary. Every one of us need to have a change of pace. After 
I joined, I found out how diverse the speakers were. It, it amazed me how many of them, I didn't even recognize their names. But when I went to the lecture, I learned so much and enjoyed the, the different types of speakers that they had from entertaining to educational to political. The thing that amazed me was a lot of times the people who I didn't recognize were the ones I enjoyed the most. I got in town hall because I've always been interested in listening to speakers from other places, other countries, and this was an opportunity to have that in Omaha. And uh, I just always was interested, so I got a ticket and I started going, even when my children were little. The speakers are also very diverse, and that's good. And so that you can't say, well, they always just have conservative speakers here. They're not. They're very diverse and they're all very interesting and um, I think it's a, it's a good share for both the speakers and for the members. I want to thank the people that were the original founders or the original group that got this together because you look back in 50 years and you look at all the speakers they've had and what an opportunity it's been for people in Omaha to have these people come to Omaha and speak. It's great that it has carried on and so many times things fade out and people lose interest but I think that this has just gained more interest and everybody that's taken it over has done a good job. So you should be proud of yourselves. I would like to wish them all the success in the future and a happy anniversary for 50 years of wonderful service for the community and I wish them 50 more wonderful years. Happy 50th anniversary. That's an incredible accomplishment. Many other organizations have tried lecture series and uh, they failed. And the town hall has continued on. It's, it's a wonderful organization and really looking out for the people of Omaha. Congratulations and let's hear it for another 50 years. It's been a great 50 years and congratulations town hall. Omaha Women's Town Hall was a success because of other people. I just happened to be a pivot. These other people were the ones that did the stuff and we had fun.